All right. So in this video, we're going to be talking about what happens from plugging in the device to the point where your computer determines what it is and figures out what it figures out the information to pick a driver. So in this video, specifically, we're going to talk about the different kind of bus numbers that you'll see, the device enumeration, which is how it picks a device address, and then the messages that get sent over USB to tell the computer what to load up. Okay, so if we close this and we look out LS USB, what you will, you will see is you'll see four different buses. Uh, but one thing that's kind of intriguing about this scenario is that uh, bus one and two actually use the same actual hardware controller and bus three and bus four use the same hardware controller. And you can see this if I at a device here, I plug this in and I do LSUSB. You should see on bus three, there should be a keyboard, optical mouse keyboard that wasn't up here. Okay. And then if I use a USB three device, you should see device at the top. Oh, I'll plug it in the exact same spot. And then LSUSB, you should see up here. So even though I was plugging them into the exact same port, um, they're on two different buses because they would use two different, uh, they, those two different devices use two different speeds. All right, so and to see this further, what we can do is if you do ls show dash c dot bus, what you will see is the two different USB hardwares. Um, and to see all of the information, we can do sudo that same command. All right, and if we push this to the side, and then we do LSUSB, we can see the first USB uh, controller here, and it has USB one, which is slower speeds, USB two speeds, and USB two, which has USB 3.1 speeds. All right, and now USB, our second USB controller has USB 3 on it, and that's the f USB 2 speeds that we can, that we had our USB keyboard, our USB mouse, there's my keyboard, um, a bunch of hubs. And if we go to down at the bottom, We've got our USB 4, which is bus 4, which is running at the same USB 3.1 speeds. Cool. So that's just to show you that you'll see multiple buses, even though internally they're for the different speeds using the same controller. Okay. Now, when it comes to device enumeration, to get a device number, um, it's a slight bit of process, so I create a little image for it. Okay. So at the base is your, your root hub, and that is the first, that is basically your USB controller. It is a hub in itself, and it connects all the devices um, and that has an address of one. And everything after that, it's just enumerating most to a number that just not been used yet. Now, what happens when you plug in a new device is that device has an address of zero. And the host has to talk to address zero to properly set up or to ask the ask for the information to properly set it up. 
All right, so if we wanted to see this in action, well, what we can do is basically open up Wireshark. Let's see if I can make this larger. Uh, we're going to go to bus one. Yeah, let's make this larger. Cool. And we're going to stop this, restart. And I'm going to plug in this mouse right here. So we can see that 12 is off the hooks and that's my mouse moving. So we're going to stop it there. And what I'm going to do is we're just going to move up until we stop seeing 12. All right. So what we got? We got 12 here and right here. So right here is when the device actually starts talking to this mouse. What it's doing is it's just looking for a Git descriptor, which gives some general information about the USB device. Uh, specifically, its vendor and its product number, the vendor being who made it, and the product ID being whatever, what specifically it is. Uh, which are very useful for finding out what the specific drivers you're needing because with INF files on Windows you basically specify you use these as specifiers to tell what information to load but we're not at that stage yet we just the biggest thing is just the max package size for this specific endpoint so what happens next is it's going to reset it and that's what all these are about. Reset the, the USB to a known state and at that point once it starts up again it's going to give it an address. Now you won't see that here because this is a software viewer of the USB stack. You would need a hardware to see that because the USB doesn't it doesn't have access from this point of view. But right here you can see that it finally got the twelfth address as the specific device. And it, here it can be different between your specific operating system, but on Linux it's going to ask for the dis device descriptor again. And then it's going to ask for the configuration the first part and on the second go it's actually going to give you the full configuration and then here this is where you'll see the specific properties of the USB and what classes it has and here we have a mouse and it's an HID class and the specific descriptors about it and at this point, right here, you specify what configuration you want. So in theory, you could have multiple configurations. And in here, you're specifying what configuration to use. And oh, right here, right here. And at this point, you've loaded up the device. You've or a uh, device address, you've figured out what the device is and who's made it, and you specified what configuration you want to be in. And at this point, then the device is just operating. It might need to get some more information down the line, but at this point, when uh, your operating system has figured out how to use the device. And in the next video, I'm going to describe more about this configuration because it's a big topic in its own.